Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we take 7 raised to power 6 to the left hand side, and this becomes x minus 3, 4 raised to power 6, minus 7 raised to power 6, then equals to 0 on this side. Next step, we can write this as x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3, then or raised to power 2 minus also here 7 raised to power 3 then all raised to power 2 which is equals to 0 here as 2 times 3 here give us 6 and same thing here then this follows difference of two squares when we have a square minus b square this is same thing as a plus b into brackets then open brackets a minus b at this here a stand as x minus 3 or raised to power 3 and b stand as 7 raised to power 3 then what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 3 or raised to power 3 plus 7 raised to power 3 into brackets then also open bracket x minus 3 all raised to power 3 minus 7 raised to power 3 close brackets then equals to 0 on this side the next step we have two possible cases now the first one x minus 3 all raised to power 3 plus 7 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 3 all raised to power 3 minus 7 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. In solving in the first case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus ab plus b square. That is, what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 3 plus 7 that is in form of a plus b into bracket x minus 3 all square then minus 7 times x minus 3 then plus 7 square close bracket equals to 0 here then yeah we have 7 minus 3 that's 4 so x plus 4 here into bracket the open bracket expansion here gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9 the minus 7 open this bracket we have minus 7x plus 21 then plus 7 square 7 times 7 that's 49 plus bracket equals to 0 here and also we can bring this together and this becomes x plus 4 into bracket then open bracket x square minus 6x minus 7x that gives us minus 13x and we have 49 plus 21 that gives us 70 then plus 9 we have plus 79 then close bracket which is equal to 0 from here that is here we have two possible cases also the first one x plus 4 equals to 0 or we have x squared minus 13 x plus 79 equals to 0 here then solving on this side this gives us x equals to minus 4 which is a real solution here and here we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to minus 13 and c equals to 79 and from the quadratic formula we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac all over 2a that is here this becomes x equals to minus minus 13 plus or minus square root of minus 13 square minus 4 
times 1 times 79. Then all over 2 times 1. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to minus times minus give us plus here. That's 13. Then plus or minus. Square root of minus 13 square. We have 169. Then minus 4 times 1. Then 79. Give us 316. Then all over 2 here. Then this becomes x equals to 13 plus or minus square root of. 169 minus 316, that gives us minus 147, then all over 2. That is, here we have x equals to 13 plus or minus square root of, we can separate this as 49 times 3 times minus 1, then all over 2. That is, here, when we break this term, to 3 roots, we have x equals to 13 plus or minus root 49 times root 3 times root minus 1, then all over 2, which gives us x equals to 13 plus or minus root 49, that's 7, then we still have root 3, and root minus 1 is i, then all over 2. So here, we have two complex solutions here. Then, solving from the second case here as well, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, then open brackets, a squared plus ab plus b squared. That is, yeah, this follows what we have and becomes x minus 3 minus 7 into brackets, then open bracket x minus 3 all squared, then plus 7 times x minus 3 into brackets, then plus also 7 squared close brackets and equals to 0 here. That is, here yeah, we have x minus 10 into brackets, then open bracket expansion here give us x squared minus 6x plus 9. Let's say we open this bracket, we have plus 7x minus 21, then plus 7 squared, that's 49, close bracket equals to 0 here. That is, here we have x minus 10 into bracket, then here open bracket x squared. Minus 6x plus 7x, that's plus x. Then 49 minus 21. This gives us 8. 2, that's 28. And 28 plus 9. That gives us 37. So we have plus 37. Close bracket. Then equals to 0 here. And also, this gives us two cases here. The first one, x minus 10 equals to 0. All we have, the second one, x squared plus x plus 37 equals to 0 here. And on this side, we have x equals to 10 here, which is a real solution. And here also we have a quadratic equation, where a equals to 1, b equals to 1. And c equals to 37. Applying the quadratic formula, we have x now equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 37. Then over 2 times 1. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared, that's t1, then minus 4 times 1 times 37 gives us 148, then all over 2 here. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 148 to 1 minus 147, then all over 2. Which also we can rewrite as x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 49 times 3 
times minus 1 all over 2. And when we separate this, root 49, that's 7. And we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus 7, root 3, then root minus 1, that's i, then all over 2. So also here we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, all together here, we have six solutions in this given problem. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.